In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve system of equations with substitution. Substitution is basically plugging in the variable's value. But let's explain that a little bit further. Say we have the system of equations y equals 2x and x plus 4y equals 27. For substitution, what we're going to do, it says that this y is equal to 2x. So we're just going to take this 2x and plug it directly in the other equation's y, because that's what y is equal to. So now we're going to have y equals 2x. Taking that 2x, plugging it in, it's going to give us x plus 4 times our y, which we plugged in as 2x equals 27. Now let's simplify this. We're going to have x plus 4 times 2x is going to give us 8x equals 27. Well, 1x plus 8x gives us 9x, and 9x equals 27. Now if we are to divide both sides by 9 to get x by itself, we'll have that x is equal to 3. But we're not done because remember, when you're solving a system of equations, you're going to get an ordered pair. So x equals 3 is our x-coordinate in that ordered pair. So, so far our answer is 3, and we're looking for this y value now. So to find the y value, we just plug, to find to find the y value, we're just going to take this x value, which is 3, and plug it back in to the equation. We can plug it into the bottom of the equation and solve for y, or we can plug it into the first equation and solve for y. The first equation will be easier, though, because y is already by itself. So plugging that 3 in, we're going to get y equals 2 times 3, because that's what our x is equal to. So y is equal to 6. And this is our solution, 3 comma 6. But let's double check. Remember, the solution to a system of equations is going to be true for each equation. So let's plug the 3 in for the x in the second equation, and the 6 in for the y in the second equation. So we're going to have 3 plus 4 times 6 equals 27. And is that true? 3 plus 4 times 6 is 24. Does that equal 27? 3 plus 24 is 27. So yes, 27 is equal to 27. Let's look at x minus 4y equals 8 and 2x plus 3y equals 38. This is trickier because in the last system of equations we solved for, we already knew at the start what one variable was equal to. So that means we're going to have to solve for another variable again. Let's just go ahead and solve for x. To solve for x, all we have to do is move 4y to the other side. So in this first equation, we have x minus 4y equals 8. To solve for x, we're going to add a 4y to both sides of the equation. That's going to give us that x equals 8 plus 4y. Now we can use substitution. We know this x is equal to 8 plus 4y. So we're going to plug that in to the second equation. Now we take that 8 plus 4y and plug it in for this x. So that's going to give us 2 times our 8 plus 4y, because that's what x is equal to. And we're just plugging in that expression for x. plus 3y 
equals 38. Now the only variable we have in this equation is y. So let's go ahead and solve for y. We're going to start with distribution. So the 2 gets multiplied to the 8 and the 2 gets multiplied to the 4y. So we're going to get that 2 times 8 plus 2 times 4y, that's with the distribution, plus 3y equals 38. Simplifying that, we're going to get that 16 plus 8y plus 3y equals 38. So we're going to have 16 plus 11y, because that's 8y plus 3y, equals 38. Now we can subtract the 16 from both sides. Subtracting the 16 will result in 11y equals 22 by 11 to get y by itself. So that's going to leave us with y equaling 2 because 22 divided by 11 is 2. And remember, when we solve a system of equations, we need an ordered pair. So we don't know what x is, but we know that y is 2. To solve for x, now that we know that y equals 2, we can take this 2 and plug it in for a y in the equation. But if you remember, we've already simplified this first equation here in terms of x. So let's just take that 2 and plug it in for this y. So that's going to give us x equals 8 plus 4 times 2. So x is going to equal 8 plus 4 times 2 is 8. So x equals 16. So our final solution is 16 comma 2 as our coordinate that solves this system of equations. Say we have the system of equations y equals 2x plus 1 and 4x minus 2y equals 1. As you can see, our y is already solved for, so we're just going to plug 2x plus 1 in for y in the second equation. So now we have 4x minus 2 times 2x plus 1 equals 2. Our next step will be to distribute that 2 to both the first and second terms. So we're going to have 4x minus 2 times 2x plus 2 times 1 equals 2. Simplifying that will give us 4x minus 2 times 2x is 4x plus 2 equals 2. But look, 4x minus 4x equals 0x, which is just 0. So we're left with 2 equals 2. And we do not solve for one of the variables. We're left with 2 equals 2. And 2 equals 2 is always true. That means that there's infinitely many solutions. So in later videos when we learn to simplify system of equations, you'll be able to see that both of these equations are really the same exact line. And therefore, there are infinitely many solutions. Because the same line intersects infinitely many times.